In this video I will show you how to change the mechanical part, ignition steering lock, in Volkswagen. First of all, the battery is disconnected from the car to avoid errors and to work more safely. The upper cover from the steering column is removed, it is held in clips, it can be removed by a simple pull. If the steering wheel is locked, try to force it to unlock by moving the key and the steering wheel, little by little. It must be unlocked. The lower cover is fixed with three screws that can be loosened with T25, two screws are on the left and right of the steering wheel, and the last screw is at the bottom. After removing the covers, remove the airbag from the steering wheel, it is held in two metal clips, unclip with the screwdriver and then pull the airbag out. It is connected through a plug, the plug is removed by pulling the safety up. The next step is to remove the steering wheel. To be able to unscrew it more easily, I will block the steering wheel and with a T55, apply a little force and the screw will come off. During disassembly and assembly, we will take into account the signs on the steering wheel to keep the position in the direction of travel. Here are some clamps that I couldn't film because there was no one to hold my camera, but I will show how they are clamped. Attention, after removing the tape from the steering wheel, it does not turn in any direction. It is preferable to keep the same position, otherwise you risk breaking it and you may be left without airbag and horn in the steering wheel. The ignition steering lock is fixed with two screws that do not have a hexagon, they are round like some rivets. From the factory, after tightening, only the bottom part with the round head remains. To get to the side of the screws, the controls must be removed from the steering column. With the help of a screwdriver, we will unclip the clips, and the controls will come out.
These are the positions in which you must hit. With ease, we will hit the head of the screw in the sense of opening. It will take a lot of applied force and patience until the screw will release. For future interventions in this area and to tighten the screws more easily, I made a channel in the screw head. The next step is to remove the electrical starter switch. This is held in two clamps. Next to the seal, remove the cover and then you will be able to unclip the clips. Watch the video. To remove the ignition lock cylinder, put the key in position 2, and insert a pin or a paper clip into this hole next to the key blade to unlock the safety. If you cannot bring the key to position 2, try to force it little by little until you succeed. To remove the lock cylinder, it must be brought to position 2, up to the engine start position. Otherwise it will not come out. Careful when mounting, the slot must be in this position perpendicular to the two slots on the edge, otherwise it will not fit. Don't force it, you risk breaking it. If they are not in this position, they must be disassembled because a piece inside is displaced. Thank you for watching. And do not forget, like and subscribe.